we're live with Leah and the Culinary Underground. We've got Lee today too. Yay! Yay. He's doing yard work all day and uh, got cleaned up and scrubbed up, finished the yard. It looks amazing. And now he's here to help me make some lentils and pasta. This is a super easy, so cheap, like so easy to make, so cheap to make dish with lentils and pasta. It's delicious. So we're going to get started. Okay. So what I have here are some porcini mushrooms. These are dried mushrooms. They're available at like every supermarket, almost everywhere. Um, if you don't have access to porcini mushrooms, dried mushrooms, you can use regular button mushrooms, will work fine. Um, typically I make this dish with pancetta or bacon, but I have no pancetta and I don't have any bacon. But I want the flavor of that, like that smoked meat. So I soaked these in hot water for about 20 minutes with a touch of liquid smoke. So this must smell. smell. Mm. So that's gonna kind of like fool you into making you think you're eating some meat. Exactly. For, uh, mushrooms have a really great like umami kind of meat, a like mouth savory mouthfeel. Yes. Meat. 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 Meaty mouthfeel. Meaty mouthfeel without any meat. So <laughs> leave. I'm gonna go and pop those in here. All right. So we have about a half a cup, maybe a cup of mushrooms. You could also use uh, pancetta, bacon, same thing. This is just a flavoring, All right? And then we're gonna go ahead and add half of the white onion to our blender. Yes, all the lights are on. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Friuli. It's hot, like wicked hot today. Oh my gosh. You're wicked hot. I'm wicked hot. <laughs> all right. Yep, we're gonna pop those in there. We're also going to add a carrot and a celery. You've got a little yeah, trash can yeah. over there. And I just peeled the carrot ahead of time just to kind of speed this along. This dish is going to take us about 20 to 25 minutes um, because lentils do need to cook to soften up. Um, these lentils the, from the grocery store, they're like little brown lentils. They're great. They're so versatile. Um, they're super cheap, like a dollar a pack maybe, 80 cents a pack. Um, and they will feed you and fill you up. Let's pop in some garlic, smash a clove and get that in there. Now, because I'm not cooking on like high, high, high heat, I'm going to go ahead and use some extra virgin olive oil. It's going to give us a really nice flavor in these lentils. Uh, lentils don't really have like their own flavor. They will take on the flavor of anything you put in them, with them. And that's, that's makes it for almost like any like real food, you know, food that comes out of the ground, it grows. It, you know, it has its own kind of unique thing going on, but a lot of things like grains, rice, seeds, will take on the flavor legumes of what you got going on. All right, I'm just gonna pop this in here. We're gonna blend. The oil is smoking, it's getting a little too hot. Can you pull it off the heat? In an effort of getting this done quickly, I started heating my pan up. And it has, oh. Got my oil, it's a little too hot. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this in. This is just a super rough chop on these vegetables. All right, pop it back on the heat then. See if I can mince some of this up a little bit more. And you, you watched my shows before, you know what I used to say, the smaller the cut, the quicker the cook. I'm going for a really small cut here because I want these to cook quickly. But you can leave your, um, <laughs> Sly. You can leave them bigger, your vegetables a little bit bigger, and they'll be just fine. All right, we're gonna throw this in. We're gonna have lots of flavor here. Yeah. This mushroom is really gonna like help elevate these legumes, these lentils. I love having my helper. It's so nice. I think we have at least one or two people watching. Hopefully. Again, our Alex is taking off to go play PlayStation. That's what teams do, right? All right. We've got garlic, a clove of garlic. We've got one carrot stick, uh, one rib of celery, and a half of white onion. And you can already see with a cup of mushrooms how much we have going on. I mean, it's so little. What's a carrot cost? Maybe a cent, right? A piece sure. of celery, like 0 0.01 cents. Half of an onion. I mean, we're at like, with the porcini mushrooms, I mean, those, I don't know, I think they're like a dollar something a pack, maybe two dollars. We're at a dollar. We've got a dollar right now. Yeah. All right. So if you have a bay leaf on hand, absolutely add a bay leaf to this. I'm going to go ahead and get this moving along. So I did happen to find some uh, chicken stock in my fridge. I don't always have it. But just to add this to our... Oh, before you do, though, we want a little color with these, right? So we're going to add in a little tomato. 
tomato paste. And I'm going to say, that's about a tablespoon. Okay. Yep. How much am I going? You're going to go all of it. You will need a lot of liquid to cook your lentils. We're going to add some water to this as well. But what I've been trying to do in the last few videos is kind of scavenge what I have on hand um, and put a meal together. So I've had this bag of lentils in my pantry for probably eight months now. I overbought when I went to the commissary, went to the grocery store, and uh, they've kind of been sitting there. So this is a good time to use them up. Yeah? Yeah. All right. What's next, baby? Next, baby, is we're going to add lentils in a second, but since we're out of broth, we don't have a lot, we're going to add some water. Okay? You guys have seen me use the water before with dishes. It looks like we're adding a lot, but the lentils are going to swell up a little, and we're also going to cook our pasta in this water as well, in this broth, and that pasta is going to absorb all that flavor. You're going to put the pasta in the same broth as the lentils? Same broth! Get out of here! Alright, I'm out. No, don't <laughs> right. leave me. But since I've added the water, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, baby. All right. um, I'm also going to add a little garlic powder and onion powder at this point, because I want to flavor that water, right? I don't have any extra broth on hand, I'm out of broth, but I want to have some nice flavors in here. So before we add these lentils, we're going to increase this heat, because we want to get these suckers rolling and boiling. Let's add some rosemary. All right. All right. Do we have any handy? We do. All right. Yeah, we happen to, you know, get lucky, or we happen to be lucky and have um, yeah, sprinkle. We're gonna add about oh, mm, that's good. All right. That's about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of dried rosemary. We do have a rosemary bush outside, um, and fresh rosemary. I would absolutely just put a stem of fresh rosemary. But these are my cheap eats. This is food that you know you might have access to, like. You know, some lentils, some dried herbs, and uh, some water and flavoring. This is going to make you a great meal. Like, you do not need to go out and buy a thousand different ingredients to make something that's really good. If you didn't have tomato paste on hand, that's not a problem. You could absolutely add in just some chopped up tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes drained of the juice. Juice? <laughs> the juice? juice? Yes. So we're going to get these suckers going. Let's go ahead and add in, oh, let's see, man hands. Man hands? And they're clean. He's washed. <laughs> I've been washed. He's been I, washed. Is that enough? Let's go with two man hands. Two man hands. And if time wasn't an issue, I would make the whole bowl of lentils. This is just one bag of lentils. It's a pound of lentil. Uh, let's go in one more handful. All right. But, you know, we don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch us all day. I mean, you cheesed him. We love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. So we got two man hands, three man hands. That's roughly about three cups of lentils. I'm gonna get this simmering. If you wanna grab a spoon and just taste the water, the broth right now, see where it's at. It doesn't have any salt, but it does have some chicken broth. So we're gonna taste it before we add any salt to it. It's got some flavor? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're working, we're working. I mean, this is, <laughs> all we have to do is wait now. <laughs> all right. So we can talk about lentils. Are we gonna add salt now or later? Later. Okay. Yes, do you wanna talk about lentils? What do you know about lentils? Uh, they're <laughs> high in protein. They're a legume. They're a legume. They're low calorie, low high in protein. Absolutely. Commonly used in Greek, Italian, and uh, Middle, Middle East. Eastern cuisine. And North African cuisine as well. Wow. Yes, lentils are amazing. High in folate, folic acid, high in fiber, protein, good Most stuff. Super popular with vegans and vegetarians. Absolutely. Yes. They are um, a great sort of substitute for that kind of meaty, kind of ground meat taste. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they got, so a, good. got a ground beef vibe to them. Is that what They've got a ground beef vibe to them. Yes, actually, one of the cooking classes that I taught on base, we made uh, lentils stuffed into bell peppers. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. A couple of the attendees couldn't believe that there wasn't there wasn't any meat in them. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any meat in them. Yeah. Yeah, but same thing, same technique. I had button mushrooms. I just put them in my food processor, chopped them all up with the onions, the celery, and the carrots, sauteed that, added the lentils, cooked them very similarly to what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Similarly. And uh, they were amazing. Stuffed them with bell peppers, baked up. We were doing vegan food that day, so we did top them with a vegan cheese. But um, this dish, again, we use mushrooms because I don't have bacon on hand or pancetta, but absolutely a little bit of meat in there, a little sausage. Oh my gosh, it would be so good. I think I first heard about lentils uh, being here in, uh, you know, somebody's falafel. Ooh. What's a falafel? What's a falafel? A falafel is a chickpea, typically uh, patty, a 
of like garlic and parsley, uh, all kinds of different flavorings. And it is a great like uh, meat-free option, especially in the Middle East, they eat them all the time. But it's a chickpea patty, so good, so good. You put lentils in there? Yes. I mean, if you're making a nice meat sauce and you just wanted to up your protein and up your fiber and up your folate, you could add some cooked lentils to your marinara with meat sauce. So good. Yes. We're not, we're not changing anybody here. We're still eating our meats. <laughs> we just didn't have any bacon to cook this with today. So uh, we're going. All right. We're also going to chop up some tomatoes because I will add some tomatoes to this dish. In Italy here, they call this dish pasta e lenticchie. How would you like? Um, half and then quarters. It's like wedges. Or, you know, just in half that way, too. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Uh, Italians typically eat lentils on New Year's Eve. It's a lenticchie cotechino. It is lentils with cotechino, which is like a stuffed pig's foot sausage. So good. Um, our landlord, Adriano, says it's the food of the peasants. Uh, but it's very popular now. Um, good stuff. It's supposed to bring you prosperity into the new year. You eat sort of like the poorest meal possible. And that's to help you bring, you know, prosperity as you're bringing in the new year. Keep you humble. Keep you humble. Absolutely. All right, so our lentils are cooking. And again, we're trying to, you know, not take all day to do this dish, but you can start to finish. You're making the whole bag of lentils. This whole dish, 30 minutes, maybe less. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So I see there's peoples out there, but again, Alex took off, so we can't read the screen from here. But thank you for tuning in if you're watching. I'll go take a quick look. Lee's gonna take a quick look. It's live with Leah and Lee today. And uh, just to put the rumors to rest, not related, except by marriage, Lee and Leah. I know it sounds crazy, right? <laughs> We're not brothers and sisters. <laughs> Tia's watching. She's hey, Tia. Tally. Got these lentils cooking. Alex is back. Alex hey, is Alex. Back. Monitor. So if you have a bay leaf at home, absolutely throw a bay leaf in here. It's just going to add some really nice flavor uh, to the lentil. But if you don't have it, it's not a problem. This is a recipe that I put together with just what I had on hand. Um, I always have these little cherry tomatoes because I love them. Right now, they're on sale in the local market, so I buy as many as I can whenever I can. They're delicious. Yeah. Smells delicious. Mm. Yeah, I have this old celery, right? And have this, like, wonky little carrot. Sorry. And then I <laughs> half an onion. We've already got about four cups of food <laughs> working here that we're going to add pasta to as well. One of the nice things about living here in Italy is that pasta, when you buy it in the Italian stores, is so cheap. A bag of dried pasta that I used for this recipe <coughs> is like 500 grams. So it's like a pound of pasta and it's like 69 cents. Oh my gosh. I love buying pasta off base because it's so much cheaper. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you dying? No, I'm just making faces at Alex. Oh, hey, Alex. <coughs> uh, this smells amazing right now. That, uh, Little substitution we did because we don't have the pancetta and bacon was uh, porcini mushrooms reconstituted with hot water and a touch of liquid smoke. Can you smell it? Totes. Totes? Yes. Mongos. And if you're just tuning in and maybe <laughs> haven't met us before, I'm Leah. This and I'm is Lee. Lee. Super silly. Super silly. Active duty Air Force. This is my guy. Serving our country. Thanks to him, we get to live in northern Italy for the next wow. few years. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I'm Leah. I started cooking at the age of 15 as a prep cook slash dishwasher. Uh, worked in restaurants, Europe, here, LA, New Mexico, Arizona, wherever. Uh, went to culinary school, finally. Done banquets and fine dining and all that good stuff. And now I'm here in Northern Italy with my military husband and uh, keep myself busy. I cook for some of my friends. I teach free classes on base. And with the lockdown, and decided to start making videos to help people who maybe aren't so skilled in the kitchen uh, feel a little bit more confident. Uh, and that brings me to, I keep getting like little messages, which I love from the people who watch. There's amazing women and men out there who take the time to watch our shows and we appreciate them so much. Um, and they ask me like, hey, I don't have this for my recipe. Can I substitute this? Absolutely. A recipe is not set in stone for most cooking. Um, if you don't happen to have fresh onion, you can use onion powder. Um, you know, if you are making a dish <coughs> that requires one vegetable over the other, if you can find a vegetable that's similar to it, you can absolutely use it. Um, recipes are guidelines, right? So there are certain characteristics of a recipe that will really change the dish, but for most things, you can interchange. You know, you don't have broccoli, maybe you can use cauliflower or kohlrabi. Um, you don't have carrots, you can maybe use parsnips. Um, things that will kind of give you the same flavors, right? All right, so we're boiling here. Lee's slowly dying in the corner. <clears throat> to see where we're at in our 
tenderness. Lentils are getting soft. All right, you just want to let those cook down. They've been cooking for about, what, five minutes now? Sure. They'll take about 10 to 12. So we're not going to take them as far as like a creamy mushy, um, which the longer you cook, the creamier, the softer they will get. They're already starting to get a little soft. Um, but at about three more minutes, we're going to throw in our pasta, and our pasta is going to cook in this water. I happen to get a pasta that takes seven minutes to cook. Seven minutes! Yay. Seven minute abs. Great. Uh, uh, you can find a smaller <laughs> pasta, like little macaronis. Those will cook in three to four minutes, or those little stars. Um, you can even take pasta, uh, get the bag, right? If you want to cook faster, get your handy dandy uh, rolling pin, smack the bejeebies out of this, break it all up, and throw that into this. And it will be amazing. Pasta pieces? Pasta pieces. Whoa. Yes. Yes, and that would make this go so much faster. Should have done that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do I'm it. I'm just teasing. We can get the rolling pin. Yeah, I'm just playing. All right, you want to grab those tomatoes and pop them in here? For sure. We're just adding some color here. So now that Lee's got the tomatoes in there, <clears throat> you're awesome. Okay. I'm going to have them chop up some parsley because we're going to add a little, cream, a little green to this dish. Um, this dish will come off as beige, 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 and beige. Now, as a chef, when I plate meals and I do things, I like to look at the plate as a whole. You know, I've got my flavors, I've got the eye appeal, the presentation. Let's do a little bit more. Little more. Now I want to add some green. And you don't have to add parsley. If you had some uh, spinach, you could throw in frozen spinach, fresh spinach, kale, whatever. Just add some green. Yeah. And that's just helping us get extra veggies. Be careful. Don't want to go to the hospital. Doing great. Thanks, <laughs> He's doing great. Thanks, honey, buddy. You're welcome, honey, buddy. Yeah, so we're cooking live with Lee and Leah. Hey. Hey. It's beautiful outside. Hot, hot, hot. We did get a pool this year. <laughs> it's an above the ground pool, which I'm excited. Hopefully, in the next few weeks, we'll be able to put it up because it's going to be a hot summer this year. And some of the beaches are getting ready to open up in the next few weeks as well. But, uh, Usually there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there. We're uh, probably going to go out too often to the beaches because uh, they're doing the social distancing. Everything's been moved apart from each other, the tents and the umbrellas and whatnot. And I don't feel like fighting for right. a, an umbrella. I can see it being a pain in the bootay. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the bootay. That looks good. That looks great. All right. Now, if I didn't find this, I literally bought this parsley like three weeks ago and forgot it was in the fridge. Um, when I got home, I washed it and wrapped it in a paper towel and stuck it in a Ziploc, and it's been in the fridge. I mean, look how gorgeous it is for like the last three weeks. So I buy it all the time, and I don't always use all of it. Um, but if you didn't have some parsley, you can throw in a handful of fresh spinach in here, some frozen spinach, some chopped kale. Um, and this is just a color thing. This isn't really going to change the, the flavor of our dish a whole lot. It's going to taste like some parsley sprinkled on top. It's garnish. 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 Alright. Yeah, you make it look good, baby. Please. Please. Alright, let's see how our lentils are doing. Getting soft, getting soft. So what we're gonna do is because we do want to keep things moving along. You guys have already given us like 19 minutes of your time and we appreciate it. We're gonna add in the pasta. Alright. Alright. Oh yeah. I'm gonna set my timer for seven minutes, because that's how long this <laughs> pasta takes to cook. You want it? Yeah, He's gonna set my timer. All right, so if you're making this dish at home and you have all your lentils in here, maybe it looks a little dry when you add your pasta, let it cook for a few minutes. You can always add more liquid to this, right? But you can't take away. Well, I lied, you can't take away. You can let the liquid evaporate, but it will continue to cook your pasta and your pasta may fall apart and get mushy. We don't want mushy pasta. We want nice, you know, soft pasta. Now, al dente. Al dente. yeah. So at home, let's say you're making this. Um, I don't know if you're like me. I buy Parmesan already in the little package, right? Nothing fancy, but I also buy the like triangle wedge of Parmesan. Um, I save my rinds, and a cool thing you can do with your rinds is you can actually just stick them into. Oh, I'm just gonna drop it in there. Stick them into your soup if you're making like a minestrone soup. Um, and then you kind of with a broth, stick your little wedge of Parmesan in there, and it's gonna flavor the heck out of your soup. It's gonna be amazing. So if you can see this, this is already starting to cream up, right? Yeah. I know he thinks I'm just ridiculous. No, I think you're awesome. <laughs> you're a, for those of you that don't know, Liz is a like a soup whisperer. 
whenever she makes a soup, she has magical little tricks, and that's just one of them I didn't know. So um, that's why I was just sitting there like, whoa, really? <laughs> so, yeah. Just having fun. Short story, one of my first jobs out of culinary school was actually still in my externship in culinary school. Yeah. I got a job as a sous chef for a corporate dining company. And like the first day, I was going to come and stuff to keep the heat in so this can cook just a little bit faster. Um, I lowered the heat just a little because it's really boiling right now. Um, yeah, it's the first day at work. I'm like, hey, we need, you know, 10 gallons of soup, two different soups, one meat, one no meat, completely vegan, go. And I was just like, oh. For like what? Almost a thousand people? A thousand people? people? Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I remember I think the first soup I made that day that was vegan, <laughs> not my best soup. It was like a. <laughs> 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 like a creamy coconut curry. Yeah. And it was good, but it didn't have any substance to it. It was just a broth soup. And broth soups are great, but not my finest soup. Uh, but I did, I became like a soup whisperer, I think, yeah. from what Lee said. I made soup every day from scratch, two big things of soup every day. Yeah, I think one of my favorites though, this one, it was a, one of the vegan soups. It was a creamy corn chowder that I thickened up with pureed rice. I blended rice and water. Yeah. Rice from the meal the day before it was just un it cooked rice. It was in the fridge, hadn't gone out, hadn't seen you know any service. Uh, blended it in the blender with some water. Added that to like my roasted corn, um, a little bit of oil, onions, carrot, celery, garlic, and uh, made this really creamy soup. And then finished it off with some toasted coconut <gasps> and a little bit of sriracha. It was so good. So good. All right, let's see where we're at now. Don't want to stick here. You see those noodles are starting to soak up that beautiful flavor. All right, those beautiful tomatoes. I mean, this is gorgeous. And I think right now we probably have like a dollar eighty invested in this dish. The Parmesan would cost some money, but it was a found item. It was in my fridge. It's probably been there for a couple of weeks as well, um, wrapped in plastic wrap. But I mean, right now this is easily going to feed our family. This is half a bag of pasta. I mean, less than half of a bag of lentils, easily. We're looking at like 60 cents a person right now. What? Yes! <laughs> I will post the recipe to include the whole bag of legumes, lentils, and the whole bag of pasta, which would probably feed about eight people or four really big portions. Yes. And I mean, as the commissary the other day, I happened to find these rolls, 25 cents for two rolls. You know, you can slice these in half, toast them up in the oven. Everybody, you know, four people gets a half of a roll with this hearty pasta and those lentils. So good. Makes a great meal. Makes a great meal. Super cheap eats. Good stuff. All right, so let's see where we're going, where we're at. Oh, my little timer. We still have two minutes and 55 seconds. Want to see if anybody's talking to us? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Let's see if anybody's talking to us. Mm. Alex says, love you guys. Hey, Brock. Yes, Monica, I have you on my list, my dear. All right, yeah, so for those watching, I do um, meal prep for some of my friends. And I have a couple friends waiting for some friends to leave so other friends can jump on in. But that's what I kind of do to occupy my time when I'm not doing three shows a week. It's like Las Vegas. <laughs> doing three shows a week. It's three people? Three minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Right cool, cool, sorry, I forgot, timer. I forgot you set a timer too. Yeah, stage managers over here giving us directions. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, this dish, you guys saw it. If you've been tuning in and watching it, again, we appreciate you. I know some people watch on, they get off, whatever. You watch it at your convenience. We love it. Thank you. We're here to help somebody out there, maybe you, maybe somebody you know, um, you know, have a little bit more confidence in the kitchen. How do you feel? Super confident with you here. Super confident, right? <laughs> All right, but yeah, I mean, this dish, it's so easy. At home, mm. if I wasn't filming this live, I would have let the lentils cook for maybe six more minutes on their own before adding in the pasta. But right now, they're cooking simultaneously, so they'll be done at the same time. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is such a great dish. It's so easy. It costs nothing. And it's just a technique, right? Same thing we've been talking about before. Vegetables. The smaller the cut, the quicker the cook. So we pureed these on our little blender, a little food processor. and you think yeah. you need a little bit more liquid, you could absolutely add a little bit more liquid to this dish. Right now, this is what I'm going for. Went for like this kind of creamy, 
uh, not dry, but not like brothy uh, dish. This is amazing. Looking so good right now. I did throw some pepper in there when I lifted the lid last time because it did need some pepper. We stuck a little bit, but we're okay. I think this looks really good. Did you put any salt in there? Not yet. We're going to season after, but I threw that Parmesan rind in there. Oh, yeah, Parmesan good. has a lot of salt. Yeah, you're right. So I don't want to go too crazy because we are going to taste. And that's Leah's rule, number one. Taste, taste, oh yeah, right this. Taste, taste, taste. Taste what? Taste everything. Everything. <laughs> of course, baby. As you're cooking, I always have some spoons out. Sometimes I buy the biodegradable plastic ones so I can throw them in our recyclable trash, but I always have spoons near me to taste. A clean spoon, of course. <clears throat> taste, 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 taste. We can see where we're at right now with the salt and pepper. This is super hot. The lentils do need another minute or two, but they're okay. Because we're doing this live, we didn't take that extra five minutes, but they're good. Does need a little bit more salt, All right? A little bit more pepper. Mm, they've got a nice meaty feel because of those porcini mushrooms. Everybody's laughing at me and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm making faces at Alex. Okay. We don't need that much salt. There's already enough salt in there. <laughs> Five minutes no, later. I think good. we need a little bit more salt. <laughs> all right, so I want to color this whole meal. Yeah, so we're going to throw in all of these parsley. Look how beautiful that is. Again, if you don't have parsley, but you wanted to add some greenery without adding like a ton of different like contrasting flavors, some fresh spinach just chopped up rough, roughly would be beautiful in here. Um, frozen spinach, frozen kale, chopped up kale. Be gorgeous. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't you think? Oops. Okay. Ladle. This is our dish. I mean, how fast was that? Okay, it wasn't our fastest show. Still under 30. There was that big thing of parmesan on there. So, lentils. Pasta. Again, a smaller pasta would have cooked a lot faster. Some beautiful tomato there. Gorgeous, right? I think so. And, I mean, you could do the grated. Nice shave over this, but I'm just going to let Lee sprinkle some Parmesan. If your sauce is a little too wet, maybe you added too much water, you can throw your handful of Parmesan in the pot, and that will help cream up the extra liquid that you have in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And we probably could have chopped a little more parsley to put on top. And I will, for the, phone, the final photo, just put a little bit extra green on there, just for presentation. But do you want to eat your soup, Lee? Yes, yes love. All right. Some pasta, some lentil, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're juicy. Hot, mm -hmm. hot. Juicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. The flavor. Oh my god. The smoked mushrooms, it tastes like pancetta. It tastes like bacon. Like It almost tastes like you have a little bit of pork in here. Smoked pork. You could use a ham hock in your broth as well. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Without the addition of the cheese, this is like a 100% vegan dish. Mm. The cheese totally makes it non, but makes it amazing. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Lee. Who am I? You're Rhea. I'm Leah. <laughs> All right, this is a little bit longer than we normally do, so thanks for putting up with us. We appreciate it. Pasta and lentils, super cheap, 60 cents a person. Done. Oh. Whoa.